I haven't fired a gun for a while. Too long. Probably since February. So I figured I'll grab a revolver and uh, head out to the range. It's a windy day, so I guess I'll get some windage practice today. Hopefully that uh, wind baffle I made up for the camera works. It's going to need it. So today I brought out a Rogers and Spencer's uh, cap and ball revolver. It's a 44 caliber. Now uh, this uh, uh, during the 1800s was supposed to be the creme de la creme of the cap and ball revolver. They uh, claimed they put all the best of Remington and Colt combined, the best ideas that they both had into this revolver. And it's, uh, I'll tell you from shooting it, it's a really, really nice revolver to fire. Um, I uh, bought this one used, and it's from Your Arms of America, that's who put this one out. And they seem to be the only ones that uh, make these, and I'm not even sure if they still do. This one was a little bit hurting, whoever had it. Uh, maybe later I'll show you what the hammer looked like. They dry fired the hell out of it. All the nipples had to be replaced and the hammer had a, a dent in it that you wouldn't wouldn't believe. So in the end I replaced the cylinder because they put one or two wrong nipples in and cross threaded them. Didn't want to take the chance on that thing sailing between my eyes. Replaced the hammer, the cylinder, and she was shooting high so I put a it's a nice thing about these uh, pistols is that front sight just screws in. So I got, there's three or four different heights available. So I put the higher one in. So today I'll see where I'm at if the ball doesn't blow away. So there it is, the uh, Rogers and Spencer 44 cap and ball revolver. Um, one of the things I really like about this is that nice wide trigger and uh, it, it's great it's right up there with the uh, with the Ruger when it comes to a nice trigger the biggest downfall of this revolver especially if your hands if you had Hickok hands you wouldn't have any trouble with it my hands are small despite the fact I'm 6'2 and uh, <clears throat> getting onto that hammer is something else as you can see it's got quite the evil looking hammer on it um, best way to cocker what's your opposite palm well I hope that wind dies off so uh, we'll get her loaded up and uh, this will be the first time I fired this thing since since I overhauled it and we'll see how we make out with her if I don't blow away first Try a few more when the wind dies down a bit and see how we make out.
two shots. I was aiming dead center. Of course, I'll uh, give the wind some credit. Uh, my elevation is perfect. Um, uh, the wind blew my balls to the left a little. So then I started aiming to the right, and the wind blew my balls to, a little more to the center. So I'm happy with that. 25 meters. I did rest it on the uh, sandbag just to make sure the uh, elevation, everything's good. So the first few shots were uh, with one hand. Or I should have went two, I guess. It's more stable. But, uh, there it is. I'm uh, quite pleased with the work. But, uh, the front side I chose for it, I, I got lucky there. Now we're getting dirty. <laughs> typical of black powder. I'm using Go-X uh, uh, 3F and I'm using uh, 454 round ball. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, I've uh, pretty much uh, gone back to using black powder or Pyrodex. I find Pyrodex is so similar to black powder. Flinching high. <laughs> sure we're still lined up here. And that's uh, that hammer is quite brutal on these things. Too little high. I'm sure there's a third one there somewhere. Fifty meters. Hmm. Got one on the top. Not bad. Like the hammer. It's fun. Looks like I hit something there anyway. Of course I went at this fella. And I got some new holes there too. That's good. Fellas are hot. All right, fix the wife stand here. Get a screw loose. 
kind of like your husband. There we go. So last two shots or rounds I did, and there there should be six holes, and there is six holes in that there 25 uh, meter target. Notice how much quieter this camera stand is. And I took a few cracks of that fella there. And I actually hit it too. Got a nice windy day, which is good for, uh, good for uh, excuses for missing. And uh, still having fun. Still having fun out here. That's one evil hammer. cap that just just insists on getting jammed in there fun huh Getting tight. The uh, fouling builds up after a while. There's just no way around that. Anyway, there she is. One really grimy, dirty. Yeah, smells dirty too. Um, Rogers and Spencer, a revolver, 44. But that's a fun revolver, as most revolvers are and it's uh, quite accurate it's actually very accurate and I can see why after the Civil War they used these things to uh, in matches um, like I said some of the uh, downsides of it it doesn't have a safety notch in between the chambers like the Colt and the Remington has that really high hammer it's uh, for me because my hand like I said my thumb ain't long enough to reach up there and draw it back that and it's got one heavy ass spring on the upside of that spring this thing never leaves a cap unfired I've never had this thing misfire um, but again you gotta get on it with the other hand there the biggest thing is it's so high up but you know it's fun. That's probably why they're, you don't see a whole pile of these things around. Maybe because of that. And they're a little bit unusual. Uh, it's fun though. It's a great revolver. Very accurate. The nice thing is you can buy these uh, front sights at different heights. So uh, I, I changed this one and it looks like I picked the right one. She's bang on for elevation. One grubby uh, revolver. So I guess I know what I'm doing later tonight. See, so they got gun snot all over the screen of this thing.
Now there's those last three. It's not bad. For me, anyway. It's 25 meters. I was going to take it over the 100 meter, but uh, I'm finding conicals work better for that. And uh, let's see all the other hits on this thing. Pretty good. I'm happy with it. Did all right. A little low there on this one. This is 50 meters. And I got these two here. So the wind's been dying off, so I was actually able to. You can kind of tell. Yeah, this target got wet in the back of my Jeep. I got to put a new seal in the, in the back window. But there are all the hits anyway on the, this target at 50 meters. With the exception of here, that's a tear that I fixed up. Beautiful day. Good day for shooting a cat and ball revolver. Of course, any day is.